There's nothing like the warm glow of a fireplace fire or the cozy heat of a wood-burning stove. Splitting wood ensures that those giant logs you have can fit in your fireplace or stove. Plus, it's a great workout. Today, we're going to show you how to split wood like a champ. Gather your tools. You'll want to use a wood splitter's maul instead of an axe. The advantage of a wedge-shaped maul over an axe shape is that the wedge is less inclined to stick and increases the outward pressure on the wood as you're splitting it to help the log split easier. Also, opt for a lighter weight maul, like a six pound one. A lighter maul can be swung much faster and velocity is more important than mass in producing results. And for those harder to split wood, like green wood or just really hard, hard wood, you may need a wedge and sledgehammer to finish the job. Safety first. Put on some safety glasses to protect those old eye sockets from flying debris. Place your log on a stump. Place your log on reasonably hard ground to prevent the force of your blow from being absorbed by the soft ground below. Whenever you strike a log that's on soft ground, it decreases the energy delivered to the wood by the maul head. Plan where you're going to aim. Look for existing cracks or other signs of weaknesses and align yourself with these as your target. It's much easier if you split up on a pre-existing crack than trying to create your own new split. Avoid splitting through any obvious obstructions in the log, such as knots or twisted grain. If you try to split through a knot, you'll be there all day trying to split through it, so don't do that. And also the most effective blow is delivered near the edge of the round, not at the very center. So aim for there, the edge. How to stand and hold the maul. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart facing the log and hold the maul horizontally near the waist level, elbows comfortably bent, one hand at the base of the handle, palm facing toward you, and the other hand at the neck, thumb next to the maul head, palm facing away from you. Time to split. Raise the maul overhead, extending arms high, straightening back and knees and rising up on toes to gain maximum potential energy. During this upswing, allow the hand next to the maul head to slide down the handle and meet the hand holding the butt of the handle. When your hands are directly overhead, begin a very forceful downswing. Concentrate your vision on the point of intended impact. Bend at the waist and bend your knees to involve all your body in the swing. If the wood is hard or green, you'll likely won't split it completely in one swing. Aim for the split you did create and continue swinging the log splits completely. And continue that cycle until you split all your wood. Stacking is a whole nother video. Well, there you go, how to split wood. As Henry Ford once said, chop your own wood and it will warm you twice. Until next time, stay manly. Should I split that up even more, is that? Yeah, one more time. Yeah. See, nobody needs to know that you swung twice, right? Yeah, I know, I, this is the magic of editing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's gonna be the keeper. That's the keeper.